all right guys how's she going today so it's painting day today because it uh got up to uh 72 degrees they're saying it's supposed to get up to 77 but i kind of doubt it not with these winds we're having kind of about 15 mile an hour wind gusts which is all right to get things you know get things to kind of dry out a little bit and just not have you know it's just it's good to have some moving wind so um so what's going on today well i'm painting um i got done painting the mower deck that is finally drying now because i put on literally i put it i put it on kind of thick because i want it to kind of fill in gaps and kind of give it the idea that it looks half professional you know so you got to kind of layer it in kind of thick so it blends in with the rest of the paint even though it's just going to look completely off because you got brand new paint on top well not on top of old paint but you got it next to old paint um i, I did i did a uh, before and an after clip i'll ins insert that here um <clears throat> now it was rusty you know those parts that i cleaned but you'll notice in the clip that they're shiny well that's because i've i cleaned it i sanded it um i ended up using the dremel tool and quite a few uh, sanding discs um to do that because doing it by hand was not an option because it would take way too damn long i'd get wore out you know fairly quickly so just figured well it's got to be an easier way and i was like well I don't want to use the big angle grinder, which I could do that too, but that can remove a lot of metal, and I'm not really in the process of wanting to remove metal. I just want to remove rust and get it down to bare metal. So I guess I could have used the angle grinder, and it probably would have saved me a couple sanding discs, but um, for my Dremel tool. But they got it, I think, clean enough. Um, there's I think it's called pitting in the metal, which means that the metal is no longer smooth. It has like little dents and stuff in it. And all that's from it rusting, and then the rust obviously eats away at it. So, but <clears throat> yeah, and I'm kind of just painting my sign here too, so don't mind me doing this. But um, yeah, so. It, uh, it required a lot of sanding to get rid of that the rust. Uh, I couldn't really get rid of the pitting, you know, or the little dents in the metal. Um, it just wasn't going to happen for how, for how far gone that little bit is. Um, you would never be able to get rid of it. You, I think even if you sandblasted, like if you actually had a sandblaster, you would never, still never get rid of it. You'd be able to clean the pits out, you know, make it look really clean then, but we're not in the business for clean, clean. We just want it to look uh, decent, so, and the slow down rust, obviously. But uh, yeah, it took quite a bit to sand it, um, make it look really clean. And then I uh, went over it with some paint. I, like I said, I put in literally not quite a full can of paint, but you know, it was, it was definitely a little over half, I think. Um, you know, one that was to bring the paint up, you know, so it kind of matched the original paint. Like there was, you wouldn't see like a divot in the paint, you know, or you wouldn't be, you. I think you're, well, you're still going to be able to see it now, but it's better than what it was before. So... It's not going to be, you know, super, super thick or anything stupid like that. So it's just, uh, yeah, but it, it is what it is, right? So it's going to, uh, I got to get this hose out of here. This is actually leaking on my stuff. Um, so yeah, and then I put, uh, uh, yeah, then I just started, it says on the bottle, for the John Deere paint, um, 
to do thin layers. Of course, they all say that. No matter what type of spray paint you use, they always recommend thin layers at a time. Um, and then they recommend to let the paint at least get tacky. So I guess that's how you can avoid runs, is if, if you let the first layer of paint at least get tacky, then when you put your second layer on, then it has something to stick to and it doesn't run. So, but you gotta keep doing light layers, obviously. But uh, I got a little bit of overspray on parts of the mower deck that I didn't want to get paint on, um, like the belt, but honestly, the belt probably gets hot enough that it'll probably just, just end up burning the paint off anyway. So. But, I, I covered up what I could, you know, you, you, you don't really catch, you know, areas until it's too late, but, whatever, I mean, I'm not a f professional painter, so it's going to look like shit, but I at least wanted to look decent too, so, um, I painted the, the rusty spots, but the whole deck is rusty anyway, um, I think if you just kept peeling the paint back, which was getting kind of hard to do because you were still getting to, like once you got to like the, well, if you were digging through the old paint, you would eventually hit a, a spot in the paint where it was still hanging on to the metal. So that's where I just stopped peeling the paint back is when I started getting, when the paint started becoming hard to remove. Um, that's where I stopped, but I still think it's rusting underneath anyway, regardless if the paint's still hanging on to it or not, but um, so, but yeah, it, it, it looks a lot better, and then I did the side of the mower deck, the side that you would rub, or like, you would use as kind of like, like a trimming tool when you would go around trees and buildings and stuff, you would put that left side of the deck up against it. Now, yeah, that was all, it wasn't rusting, but it was you know, it had scrape marks in it and stuff, but, um, there's, I mean, there, honestly, there's really no sense of even painting it because you're just going to scrape it all off again anyway, but I'm trying to control rusting as much as possible, and it just makes it look a little bit nicer, so, but, overall, I think it, uh, it turned out pretty well, I'm, I'm not, obviously, like I said, I'm not a professional painter, you know, so my painting skills, um, they suck balls, but I'm learning, but I'm getting some freaking good wind going on here, so I can't really paint. So, because a lot of my paint's just blowing away because of this, but, and the damn wind keeps freaking, uh, keeps fucking changing direction even though it says it's coming out of the out of the north at least here by the shop it seems like it changes from north to south i don't know why maybe it's just i don't know but so i gotta <laughs> lay a little lay a little bit of paint and then see what's drifting and then whatever drifts away well then i gotta stand in the like if it drifts north well then i gotta stand on the south side of whatever i'm painting so i don't get paint on me but whatever so um it just kind of is what it is so and i'm also like i said i'm painting my one of my no trespassing signs this is the one that i have a hard time getting paint even stick to and it is damaged but i don't care if it's where i put this one it doesn't really have to look pretty it just has to work now, i should replace that but I don't know, I want to get at least another year or two out of it before I need to replace it, but I can make up a, more boards, I guess. I can even go to the lumberyard and get a chunk of plywood or something or whatever, you know, and it would work just fine, but um, I don't want to have to do that this year. So if I can get two more years out of that, I'd be okay with it, but um, yeah. So I was doing two two jobs. I was painting two things today. But it's such a good day to do it. And tomorrow is supposed to be, this, well, temperature-wise, it's going to be a little bit less. Which is still, it's still within painting range for this white paint. This white paint, you can be down to, to 40 Fahrenheit and then all the way up to 80 Fahrenheit. 
But with the John Deere paint, they want 75 Fahrenheit. Well, it's... I don't know if it got 75 today. Well, my phone says 72. That's what it got up to, but it's supposed to get up to 77, but I kind of doubt that, not with this with this wind. But I think even just 72 degrees, I mean, what's another 2, 3 degrees? I think you can still lay paint, um, even at like 70 degrees, maybe even 65, but... Yeah, it's just going to take longer to cure. Well, then that's why you do thin layers. It's because thin, thin layers can dry quicker than thicker layers. And I was laying it on pretty thin for the John Deere paint because I want it done right. Uh, for these no trespassing signs, it's not really that important. Uh, because I, I'm always going to replace the boards anyway at some point in life. But I don't really plan on replacing my mower deck anytime soon. So I kind of want that to last. So it does. It, it does need to be sent in the John Deere. They do need to. I got to have that spindle replaced or whatever because it's got a chunk missing out of it. But it's been that way for quite a few years. But it needs to be replaced. Maybe next year. But for now, I got to at least you know stop some rusting from happening and uh, make it look somewhat decent, right? So and then. Uh, then I got the, the snowblower I got to paint, which can, that can happen anytime because I want, the reason why I'm painting the mower deck is because this is our first real 70 degree day for the year. And I want my mower deck on within a week because the green grass is already starting to grow. The whole thing is starting to turn green now, my whole entire yard. So there is green grass coming now. I still haven't gotten my trimmer going yet, but I don't really need that right away anyway. I can, I usually don't trim, well I trim about every, again it depends on how the grass grows, but it's usually about every two mows then I'll trim. Um, but like I said, it all depends on how it grows. If it grows really fast in the front yard, then it's every time I mow because I want it to look decent in the front. The back, I don't really give a shit about it. And if I do trim, I mostly just trim around the house and then around the shop. Everything else, I just kind of leave it until it's ugly enough that it needs to be dealt with. But, um, because it's a lot of trimming. I trim for close to an hour at just, just my place. So, wow, well, not quite that. Maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes, tickling 40. I see, even all this depends on how fast you can work, but, um, I'm going to put another layer on now. They say to do it every one minute, which is nice about this paint. Uh, John Deere doesn't really have that. So, they say to uh, they say to do it like if you're going to put a layer on um they say to try to do it. Shit. They say to try to put another layer on within 30 minutes. So, whereas here they tell you to do it every one minute, but they don't tell you how long to wait between really between each layer like this one does. It's different. But John Deere says to try to not to wait any longer than 30 minutes because then apparently after 30 minutes, well then you have to. Kind of sounds like you have to do a 36 hour restart where you have to wait 36 hours before you can put another layer of paint on if you don't get one on within 30 minutes another layer so i mean it's all kind of it's kind of confusing so i just try to go for three minutes four minutes something like that between layers because i mean they're they're well they say the main thing is to wait until the paint is tacky and then put on another layer. And within probably about two minutes, it's it's tacky. So sometimes I'll wait a little bit longer than that. It just depends on what else, if I'm doing something else. Um, the more tackier it is, then the better, you know, and it'll just dry better overall. So the more deck is not sitting outside in the pure sun because I feel like that would dry it out too fast. 
but I did put the garage door up this morning, so it's had the whole day's worth of heat going through it, so the mower deck should be reasonably close to 70 degrees. Uh, it might be at 65, I don't know. I, I don't have like a uh, thermostat thing that you could test it, you know, that has a laser thing on it, you know, a digital one. That'd be kind of, I, I need to get one of those because that would be kind of interesting to, because then I could test the metal, you know, and see if it's at least at a little bit above it, you know, or whatever. So, but I don't know, I think if it's uh, 73 out right now, like they say, it's supposed to get up to 77, but I doubt it. But if it gets up to 73 and the mower deck is at, let's say, 65, the paint will still dry. It just w it will be at a slower rate. But I can tell that it seems to be doing all right. It's doing actually pretty well. So I don't know. But the colder it is, the longer it will take for paint to cure. But I'm... I wanted, at least wanted to get the mower deck done because that was priority number one. And then I figured, well, instead of waiting, you know, let's say close to five minutes between layers, I could be getting something else painted in the meantime. So I decided to pull the sign out and start painting this. So, but, so that, that's what I did. I, I just, I walked back and forth, you know, and I painted one thing and then I came back like, well... I painted the mower deck and I'd come back here and paint this. And then I would wait a minute, put on another layer, wait another minute, put on another layer. Okay, well then it's been like three minutes, so then I'll go back to the garage about the house and go put another layer on the mower deck. And I just kind of kept going back and forth and then I kind of just took a little bit of a a break. Um, so, not a, like a five minute break. I just, I didn't paint nothing. I just wanted to sit down for a minute, you know, and catch my breath because I've been running around like my head's chopped off, so. Um, but yeah, I'm using, this is the paint that I bought quite a while ago. It's a matte white, um, but that's the brand of it, but I only got one of those. And then I got another one that I got, it's a different brand. Um, she wanted me to try that, but uh, this is almost gone, but yeah, so I don't know. I don't think I have too much to paint. I just had this one here. That This is the only one that gives me the most trouble. All the other ones seem to be okay. It's a different, I guess a different style of wood, so that's why it holds up better, but this, I don't know. It's, it's, it's junk anyway. It's falling apart. I think moisture gets in it somehow, and it just peels the paint, so... This paint will probably last the rest of the year, but the next year it'll be all peeling off. So, well, whatever. It's just, it's just as long as I can get through the year with it, whatever. I'll probably just replace that piece of wood anyway with a with a newer style one or something. But as of right now, I'm not going to worry about it. So, but yeah, it was. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's, it, yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day to get some painting done. So I wanted to get it done because tomorrow is supposed to be 68, pretty much sunny. It was full sun all day, but now I see some clouds starting to roll in. So it's supposed to be just mostly sunny. Um, with a chance of cloud, I guess here and there, that's what it's doing now. And I think the same thing for tomorrow, but it's going to be 68. So a little bit cooler. Uh, Wind-wise, I don't know what the wind's going to do, and I don't know if I'll be painting anything tomorrow. It's just going to more or less just, things have to continue to dry. Um, the more deck is going to take, I think, a total of 36 hours to cure, and I think that's for 100% dry. So, and I can put that more deck on even, in, you know, on a rainy day. It, it's not like it needs to be done today, but... I can do that any day. I just want to get it done either sometime this week, like maybe Friday, or early next week then for sure. Just because I want to get it done. I need to move on. I got to get the trimmer going now. And I got the farm boss up and running. That's here in the shop. It needs to be worked on again because I don't have to change dollar and shit. I think my uh, uh, 
file is getting wore out because that file that I'm using now was the like most my it was my, it was my first one when I got the saw brand new when I bought it brand new so it probably is wore down I know I got at least one or two more sitting somewhere down in the basement I just gotta go freaking find them so I can try to resharpen that chain again that, that's a brand new chain and it's already dull and shit so I don't know what else to do I gotta find a better way to sharpen these damn chains it's just getting to be ridiculous it seems like I sharpen them and then they last for five minutes and then they're freaking dull again so I'm not really sure what the hell I'm doing wrong but I'm not a freaking professional at stuff either, so whatever. But I, I got the trees cut up that I wanted to get cut up. We just got to haul them away now um, and get rid of it. So, yeah. And then uh, I got, like I said, I got the snowblower left to paint. That can be done anytime. There's going to be kind of another cool down coming up. Um, so it'll probably be another week or two before I get to paint the blower. And there's not much on this to paint, really. But I want it, you know, at least done somewhat right. I'll have to sand everything really good and then... And then uh, give her hell with a can. But yeah, it took almost one can to do the mower deck. But that's because I'm putting on such a thick layer. Uh, just so it kind of looks like it's always been that way. You know, it looks original, you know. And, uh... Yeah, it actually looks like pretty good paint. It's not low, it's not cheap quality paint, that's for sure. I mean, you're charging 15, 16 bucks a can, well. It, it'll it'll definitely look different on my mower deck because one, my mower deck is dirty. The paint is slightly faded and it's just, you know, it's old. So the old paint, it, the new paint is gonna stand out more than the old paint. It, it's. Once the new paint gets a little bit dirty and gets faded and stuff, well, then you won't really notice a difference. But right now, yeah, you will. But I bet you by the end of fall, she'll probably be pretty dirty and dusty. So, but, yeah. So, and then snowblower, well, that's got to get painted. And i got to shove that back in its corner and whatever else. And then I think on Big Red, i got a cooling fan going out. I'm not really sure what kind of bearings are in those fans but I got one that's kind of making kind of a, a little bit of a grindy sound so I'm not really sure the hell's what the, I'm just fuck that's what it is just fuck so damn big red's gonna cost me more money than he than, than I'm not uh, the time I'm done with them I'm gonna be putting another fucking five grand into them and I'll probably be running them all summer because I don't think I'm gonna get a Tahoe done in time so I got to run Big Red all summer. So, and then June and July, well, those, those are maintenance months for the machines. And then I think in the little farm all, the farm all A, I checked that a couple days ago. I think there's gas getting in the oil. Um, I'm not really sure how, but you, when you smell the oil, it smells like gas too. And I know that the, the fuel shut off bowl underneath the tank it's got a leak in it because it's continuing to feed the carburetor and then the carburetor leaks i mean it's got a wore out gasket you know um so it leaks and then it leaks all over the ground so the carburetor needs to be rebuilt so it doesn't leak anymore at least and then the fuel shut off valve well that needs to be replaced at some point um, probably just end up, end up ordering a whole like a whole new unit just to cut the bullshit and then that should take care of that and then I got one more tire that I wouldn't mind replacing as well so but I gotta put another layer on I keep forgetting about this but and then the freaking wind picks up and takes my paint away so it's hard to tell where you're painting on windy days like this, I got to be a lot closer to the can, or right closer to uh, whatever the hell I'm painting, because the wind takes it away. So they say to be uh, a few inches away, but on days like this, you can't do that. So anywhere from eight to ten inches from your surface that you are painting. Well, that I'm more like two inches because I have to be that close 
when I'm outside painting. If I was in the shop, well, then I could get away with it. But I don't really want to get paint on everything. So, um, and I'll have it paint out there because then the wind takes the paint fumes away. It doesn't get so stinky here in the shop. I can still smell a little bit because a little bit gets in here. But, you know, it doesn't get sick in here. It's not like walking into a white cloud, you know. It's all outside, so it doesn't really matter. So, but, I don't know. That's just the way it is. So, but yeah, other than that, uh, the more deck, I, I guess I'm done. I'm done painting it. I've already greased it. Um, I just got to put it on the tractor and test it. Make sure, it, I mean, it still spins because I can spin it by hand, but I like to double spin it. Double check it with the tractor itself, you know, make sure the PTO can turn it and whatever else. So, but anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. I'm going to put on a layer of paint. And uh, I, need to, I need to do the sides, and I can't do that holding the camera. So, and then, uh, yeah. So, Yeah. So anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off. So I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.